Codependency. This term gets thrown around a lot and not many people really understand it. And so the dynamic can be a little bit more complicated than people really realize. But for guys that are broken a badass program, they always come in and they say, yeah, I'm codependent. I'm like, well, how do you know that? Well, my therapist says, okay, well, what did, what did the therapist tell you? He's like, I can't remember. And so this is a problem, right? If he can't remember what it is, he's never going to make any changes in his life. And just like you, if you don't know what codependency is and you suspect that you are codependent, if you don't know what it is, you can't make a change, right? And so I typically try to break it down really simple and just say, it's whenever you feel responsible for your wife's emotions. Oh, I get it. I get it. But in this video, I'm going to go into a little bit more depth of what this is and how you can turn this around really fast. And in fact, just noticing the behavior is oftentimes enough to make radical changes in your own relationship. And I want you to have a powerful relationship with your wife. And I want you to be able to seduce her absolute fucking soul. And so let's get started. My name is Ed Baxter and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betray the Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. So like I said, codependency is real simple to understand when you realize that if you're feeling like you're responsible for your wife's emotions, you're in a codependent relationship. You feel that if you can make her happy all the time, she will never leave you. And so this is the catch, right? If I can make her happy, she will never leave me. Then on the flip side, what she's doing is, oh, as long as he's making me happy, I can, get, I can do whatever I want. In other words, I will promise not to leave you if you let me do whatever the fuck I want. And so this is where the codependency comes in, right? Like drug addiction or like alcoholism. He's an alcoholic. He's like, well, I'll never leave her as long as she allows me to keep drinking. She's like, well, I'll enable his drinking as long as he never leaves me. And this is usually where people get caught up. It's this game of they will never leave me. And that's a hint on how to solve this. So you might already know what kind of the signs are on this. And so it's really simple to understand and bring into your personal life. If you start looking at where do I feel like I can't be myself? You feel like you're always on edge around the person. You feel like you're white knighting or having to like save them all the time or have to caretake them. Not being able to set boundaries. Anytime you're trying to just not rock the boat. Anytime you cannot express yourself fully or you feel like I have to be a certain person or a certain way around this person. Where do I feel like I have to manage my partner's emotions? Any of these places is where you've got something going on in the codependency realm. And what this does is it drive your self esteem down into the floor because you're living for the validation of somebody else. People are like, well, I'm a victim of codependency. I'm a victim of my wife's narcissism. I'm a victim of, no, you're not. Like you chose all of these things and you willingly complied with it. You might not have known you've been doing this. So now that you're watching this video, you know what it is. And so now you have the ability to make a change. And you can imagine how this affects your, your self-esteem, like how it affects your mental clarity. Because whenever this person's around, all you're thinking about is what this person needs. How do I avoid conflict? How can I get ahead of any kind of their problems? You come into this place of white knighting and caretaking constantly. And so this is the perfect place for somebody to take advantage of you. And the thing is, is that a lot of people don't necessarily want to take advantage of you in the beginning, but then you train them to do so because you falsely believe that if I do everything for them, they will never leave me. And so the codependent relationship is invited. Most of the time, the guy is inviting this into his life because what he thinks is, if I can be everything for this woman, then she will never leave me. So he's automatically, right even on the first date, hey, let me pay for this. Let me hold the door for you. Let me open the car door for you. This could be being a gentleman, but a lot of times the guy who's being nice guy, the nice guy or the people pleaser, he's doing this to get validation from her, to demonstrate that he is different from other guys, that he is not a jerk. He's not going to take advantage of her. And these are all manipulation tactics to create a codependent relationship with her. And so he wonders why she finds him creepy. He wonders why she doesn't call him back. He wonders why she doesn't answer his texts because she feels this. He feels, she feels this pull into codependency with him and it's an unhealthy relationship dynamic. But the guy doesn't even realize he's doing it because this is what he's done in the past and so this is what he keeps doing moving forward. And so here's where the, the video is gonna get a little bit of controversial. See, most people, most therapists and counselors are gonna tell you, you just need to be more compassionate with the persecutor partner. The one that's making you walk on eggshells. Understand their position and try to come from a place of more compassion. That if you, if she can feel fully heard and understood, then she'll finally eventually settle down. And this is the problem with most of the programs. I get guys from literally every other fucking marriage program because they keep 
diving into this and you get into a relationship with somebody who takes advantage of you, yeah, that kind of thing will just be taken advantage of more. All you're going to do is put gas on the fucking fire. And so the cure actually for codependency isn't to try to have more compassion for your partner, though you should do that. Most of the time, the codependent or the victim side of this has compassion already. The game is that they're already being compassionate. They're being too compassionate to the point where they're enabling all behavior, making excuses for the other person. And so the person you have to have compassion for is yourself. Kill the double standard here. Why does this person get to do anything they want that you don't get to? Why does this person get to gaslight you and lie to you, make demands and be entitled to you? You can't make time for yourself. Your needs don't matter. And so the cure for this is to take in this idea of maybe, just maybe, you fucking matter, bro. Like you matter. You matter a lot more than you realize. And when you take that power back to yourself, then all of a sudden stuff starts to happen like the word no, which is the most powerful word in any language. You just simply say no. She starts walking in, causing a ruckus. Nope, I'm not going to do this. Nope, I'm not going to engage with that kind of behavior. Yeah, it works the same with your children, right? You tell them, no, this will not stand. The compassion needs to be for yourself. Because really, in a codependent relationship, there's a big double standard. You're showing the other person that they should keep taking advantage of you, that it is good that they take advantage of you because you're afraid they're going to leave you. But once you decide that you matter, once you can feel that you matter, you don't need them anymore. You don't need them to validate you. You don't need them to make you feel like you matter. It doesn't have to be this way. In fact, all the way up until December 2nd, I am offering you the audiobook of Betrayed to Badass for just a dollar because that book is powerful and you need to have it in your hands. If you're dealing with lies or manipulation or a wife that just walks away and you can't really understand what's happening and that everything you do is like, it's like she's sand slipping through your fingers. This will turn it around within a couple of weeks. You'll also have the opportunity to join the Genuine Attraction community, and you can experience that free for seven days. This community is powerful. There's coaching from me, there's master classes, there's shorts, there's all kinds of things to help boost you forward on a daily basis so that you're not sitting here alone in your pain, coming home to an empty house that is echoey because she took all the furniture and you need to have guys around you that have gone through the trenches, they know the game. Why? Because you deserve to win. See, men need to win and they need to win often. And right now, if you're watching this, there's a good chance you've been losing a lot. So let's get your first win and get you into this community. Let's get you to that audiobook for just a dollar and I can't wait to see you inside. The solution to this problem is to realize that you matter and you matter a lot more than you realize. And when you allow this double standard to happen where the other person matters more than you, this is what invites the codependency. And you're going to do all kinds of things to try to reverse this. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to start to say no. You're going to say, you know what? I matter. What I want, my needs and, and desires, they matter in this relationship. And if you can't be a part of that, if you don't care about that, then obviously I'm not in a relationship. I'm in a power and control dynamic. And so the first thing is you'll start asserting boundaries. You'll start saying what you want. And the other person won't like it. Why? Because they are playing a game of power and control. This game of enablement. And so whenever you say no to this, they're going to start manipulating you. They're going to start telling you you're a terrible person. They're going to say, oh, you've changed. Oh, you're not the person I married. And you're going to say, no, I'm not. I've become better. I don't put up with this anymore. I'm going to have what I want in my life. And I'm going to, I'm going to tell you that this is what I need in the relationship. And you'll do it in a nice way. And then when they come at you with these things, you won't take them on. And so you're going to feel, oftentimes when you're doing this, you're going to feel like you're the bad guy. You're going to feel guilty just for saying what you want. And so you're going to be playing this game of back and forth. Did I go too far? I didn't go far enough. Did I go too far? I didn't go far enough. And for most guys in the program, when they start doing this, they feel like an absolute asshole. But the cool thing is, is because you're on the side of nice guy, we already know you're a good person. That's not in question at this point. The thing is that you have to believe that you're a good person and stand by that. And so if you do, if you do go too far and you do come off as an asshole, you can always come back and apologize. But the thing is, is that you shouldn't apologize most of the time because oftentimes what you asked for wasn't actually that big of a deal. It was actually valid and you should have asked for it. And so that's where it's really helpful to be a part of a community of guys who can watch your actions. So if you need some eyeballs on your situation, you want to know if you're doing the right thing objectively and you need somebody, an expert, to actually look at your situation, check out the link below and set up a call with my team if you're interested in the Broken a Badass program. We'll dive deep into your situation. We'll tell you exactly what's going on. And we'll show you the whole map of where all the landmines are in your relationship. And we'll show you exactly how to get through them. But if you're not ready for that, then check out this video here on how to set up boundaries. 
And if you like this video, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.